Hey there, VC. This is Brian, Shamrock and Records. And today, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my music room. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I've been in the VC now for three or four years, and I've never done a room tour. So, uh, welcome to York County, Maine, and I hope you dig it. So before we get upstairs to the actual music room, I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of my downstairs living area. And on this wall here, this is the wall where it kind of connects my kitchen to my living room. And uh, this uh, Van Morrison poster was a gift from my aunt and uncle who went to this show in Boston. Uh, I was not able to attend that show, so they surprised me with that uh, as a Christmas gift a few years ago. This is in my living room. So this is just a uh, small little setup I have down here. I have a Hitachi direct drive, um, HT350, got my Mike D mat the pioneer sx680 which it's it's a great receiver however it's on the fritz right now so i need to either get it fixed or i'm just gonna grab a new receiver this stuff down here is pretty much stuff that i don't really listen to um, it's a kind of mishmash of things that I've taken out of my actual collection from upstairs that I don't really listen to too much. It may be things that I just end up selling and getting rid of. Um, but that's kind of my setup down here. Uh, if I pull back a little bit, you can kind of see my TV with my speakers. These are, uh, some Marantz speakers. Um, that I recently picked up at an antique shop. I'm not really sure of the uh, model number of these. And then I have some, some music books. When I pull back, I got some more books. <clears throat> Pretty cool reads over here. This uh, modern twang book is fantastic. It's all, uh, about like all country, it gives a great description of a lot of uh, indie alt country acts. It's very cool stuff. And then uh, in my TV cabinet, I just have some some movies that I dig. And on the other side, I have a lot of my music. DVDs, concerts, and whatnot. So, I do like to pop those on every so often when I'm in my kitchen. So, uh, now we'll, we'll go upstairs and this is a a diner that I uh, I frequent, so thought that was pretty cool that painting. But uh, this is where the fun is up here. So as you come up, you can see I have a poster signed by M Ward. Oh, with the lighting. M Ward is half of she and him. He's the him of she and him with Zoe Deschanel. He also has a solo project that he does. And above the M Ward, I have a tour poster that was signed by Black Joe Lewis. I saw him in Portland, Maine at Port City, 2013. It's a fantastic show. And then we turn the corner here and this is my room so we're gonna come on in here 
And I guess I'll start with uh, my walls. My bathroom and my daughter's bedroom. <laughs> but we'll start at the bottom here. This is a signed poster by Deer Tick. Entire band had signed that. That is also a set list that I got when I saw them in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Those are John McCauley's guitar picks. This was a fantastic show that night. You can see that they covered In Bloom by Nirvana. They covered La Bamba. And uh, they actually had to stop the show early because John McCauley had been drinking a few beers that night turned around and punched the uh, symbol of the drum set, uh, sliced his hand open, blood all over the place. They had to take a t-shirt and uh, put it around his hand. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. This is Bobby Schneider, one of my favorite uh, singer-songwriters from Austin, Texas. Saw him in uh, Portland, Maine, and he signed this for me. Up above Bob Schneider is a signed poster by Josh Ritter, another one of my favorite songwriters. If we go over into our corner here, my friend Tony um, found these cool poster. This is a Big Brother. They're like on like a uh, kind of like a wood Big Brother and the Holding Company. But uh, yeah, my friend Tony found these for me. He's an antique dealer, so he's always kind of going out looking, thrifting and whatnot. And he found that and this uh, Quicksilver. Very cool, very nice of him to think of me. Below those, I have a photo of myself with Leo Moran, who is the guitar player of the Saw Doctors. Saw Doctors are a Celtic rock band from Ireland, and uh, Leo signed, that is the uh, backside of a set list, which he, uh, he signed for me that evening. That was in Troy, New York. I'm trying to get around my lamp here, but uh, see, signed poster by Sharon Jones. Sharon Jones did a uh, signing in my store. Um, when I was managing uh, the Bull Moose in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And uh, she came in to do a signing um, when she was, uh, the music hall that you see here is across the street from, uh, from my store. This here is a photo of uh, Rusted Root. When I saw Rusted Root, um, back in the mid nineties and I, as you can see, I also have a set list right here signed by um, Pat signed that. He, Pat is the bass player. And then a bunch of them signed um, when I saw them again at the Horde tour. This is uh, a pretty nice piece here. Um, when the Stephen Malkmus and the Jicks, uh, at the time this was a promotional painting uh, for uh, the new record that came out. Um, this is literally hand-painted. Uh, it was a promotional piece given to the store. And I just uh, thought it was amazing. So I'll back up a little bit here. This is uh, some seating area. The... Uh, you know, I got my Van Morrison pillow and my Tom Waits pillow, two of my favorite records of all time. Above my couch is a poster signed by Spoon. When Transference uh, came out, they all signed that up. Um, and then above that, I have some signed CD cases um brandy carlisle uh the counting crows sorry about that glare guys counting crows and ray la montaigne i'll sign those 
pull back a little bit here. Some of my, some of my books on my my table here. You know, need books. <laughs> Can't all be music. Here's my uh, my butcher cover. Very beat up butcher cover, but I have a butcher. <laughs> this is not. Pink Floyd's another brick in the wall. This is tape. <laughs> but uh, I was very happy to uh, to find this one day. So above my butcher, I have a couple framed posters. Uh, Gillian Welch. Uh, this is signed by Gillian and Dave Rawlings. And next to that, I have uh, Old Crow Medicine Show. Um, when they were playing with the Lumineers and the Milk Carton Kids. And uh, Old Crow signed that up for me. Pull back. This is my... Uh, let's see, pull back a little bit here. That's my reel-to-reel. -reel. I'm not going to undo that. And uh, a bunch of ticket stubs. Uh, this is also more ticket stubs. Some set lists and a bunch of stuff in there. And then uh, this is a, uh, a tour poster from Stephen Kellogg and the Sixers from the Bear Tour. And I was lucky enough to catch Stephen Kellogg's uh, bandana. And that's all signed by uh, Stephen Kellogg. Very cool. Um, and um, let's see. So this was my uh, program from when I went to the Folk Festival in Newport, 1998. And I was lucky enough to meet one of my favorite singers, Dar Williams. She signed that for me. I absolutely love Dar Williams, one of my most favorite singers. And uh, right now we are listening to Backbeat. Backbeat, if you don't know, is a fantastic um, soundtrack. Um, as you can hear, it's all covers, like 50s rock covers done by a 1990s alternative supergroup. Here's the track list. But check out this band. Greg Dooley on lead vocals. Greg Dooley is the lead singer of the Afghan Wigs. Dave Grohl on drums. Mike Mills from R.E.M. on bass. Thurston Moore from Sonic Youth on guitar, and then Dave Perner from Soul Asylum also does some uh, some vocals. It is a 90s alt super group. I've never seen anybody show this or talk about it. I don't get it, but it's fantastic. This here, support your local record store, damn it. <laughs> This here is a bunch of records that I have not shown on videos yet. Um, Tom Waits promo for Swordfish Trombones. Um, this is somebody I've really been digging lately, it's Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, late to that party, but I'm finally at that party. Uh, the band MoFi. Um, just Josh Ritter, Mary J. Blige, uh, Jayhawks, Isbell, uh, Ryan Bingham. That's a, a really nice uh, singer-songwriter. SRV, Chadwick Stokes, he's the lead singer of Dispatch. Raylan Baxter signed. Um, Blaze Foley. But, uh, Polvo. The DBs.
This just came out. They did a limited um, 1,000 run of that. I love that record. Rainbow. That's sweet. But uh, yeah, Primus, John Mayer, Lenny Kravitz, Indigo Girls, Eric Clapton, Decemberus, Dashboard Confessional, Frankie Miller, Remains. Just uh, tons of stuff, guys. Tons of stuff. You know me. Always buying, buying, buying. But let me back up here a little bit. This is all my basic like rock pop. Um, everything else is, I mean, everything's pretty much throughout here. All my folk singer songwriters, country. Uh, but this is my my power source. This is my uh, Pioneer uh, SX650. I've had this my entire life. This is pretty much the only receiver I've ever had. I've had this since I was a little boy. My dad gave me this as a child. Um, the lights are out. I've peeled some of this off. But um, it's my baby. It's been with me my entire life. And it's still ticking so I absolutely love it um, and I play my records on a Fluence RT85 I picked this up this past year I love it I don't have anything negative to say about this turntable it's got the Ortofon blue the acrylic platter the outer uh, outer belt I absolutely love it it sounds fantastic uh, that's a Dave Matthews promotional um, cardboard poster that I got when I was working at the shop this is a new record that I just picked up this is produced by Simone Felice and um, it's just four songs with uh, Connor Oberst, uh, Wesley, the lead singer of uh, the Lumineers, the Felice Brothers, and Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, Amazon original stuff. It's pretty cool. It's the Anzo uh, stylus cleaner. If you don't have a stylus cleaner, I highly recommend getting one of these. It's uh, a great little investment. They're about 40 bucks but uh, it keeps your stylus nice and clean. Here's some more records I picked up recently. If you didn't see my last video, this is a uh, seven inch signed by Amanda Shires and Jason Isbell for their new uh, single for the problem. And then let me pull back a little bit. On top of this record shelf, we have Nipper and I have my VC mug. One of only two of these mugs in existence. Andy Borders from Andy's Vinyl Den has the other. Um, he had a contest years ago after he made his comic. And he had two of these made. And I won his contest. So I, uh, I won the other mug. So uh, let's see. We got uh, Andrew from Tales in the Crate on there. And Metal Mickey. And your... <laughs> <laughs> Vinyl Rich. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very excited to uh, get that mug. 
This is uh, Dropkick Murphys all signed up by the band, the Pogues. Um, CD box set, a great big C box set. This uh, Magic Hat number nine is signed by Pat McGee. Uh, Pat McGee was a uh, singer song for, singer songwriter in the 90s that was pretty popular uh, back in the day who I used to love and uh, I had nothing for him to sign one night at a show so he signed my beer bottle <laughs> here nipper a little bit of folk art up here and uh, more records down here and then we turn the corner and then this here is like hard rock and metal on the first two and got some blues and some jazz soundtracks christmas stuff this little stack down here is just gonna be like things that i'm selling and getting rid of and just you know i got my seven inch stuff up here so, uh, we don't need to flip through all of it, but uh, the Lumineers. We got some signed CDs. Pat from the Smithereens. Twisted Sister. Brett Miller from the old 97s. Um, Carbon Leaf, I'll sign that up. This is an old Rolling Stone magazine. When Before there were magazines, there were newspapers. And this is what Van Morrison... Van Morrison is my absolute favorite artist. So, anything Van, I try to get my spin clean, my guitar. I painted that Birds logo on there when I was in high school. So, back in like 92 or 93, I think I painted that on there. This is a uh, poster signed by uh, the band Dawes. This is... Uh, they signed this the day I brought Madison. Madison's my daughter. Uh, she was five years old and I brought her to her first show and we saw Dawes. And uh, they signed a, this one for me and then they also signed one for Madison. And then, uh, it's an extra copy of them that I had. And it's one of my favorite bands, Great Big C from Newfoundland, Canada. They do, uh, the, Newfoundland folk music, sea shanties. Fantastic, very Celtic sounding. Toad the West Rocket is my favorite band. Um, this is a promotional poster from their very first record, Bread and Circus. And then, uh, oh, that white is killing me here. But this is a uh, t-shirt signed by the band Enter the Haggis. Avet Brothers. This is uh, all signed up by Flog and Molly. And here's another tour poster uh, signed by Dawes. This is when they were doing a co headline tour with Blitz and Trapper. Saw them in Boston. Some more Avets and uh, Brandy Carlisle. So that's that one. And then um, on this side of my room, I just have one little rack of CDs here. A lot of that stuff is just stuff that I don't have on vinyl or they don't press on vinyl. So. And then when I start buying, start finding some of this on vinyl, I sometimes just take it out of this shelf. Russet Root, I want that press on vinyl so badly. But, uh, yeah. And then, um, this is a set list signed by Toad the Wet Sprocket. And there's a picture of the band that was on the crowing tour or not crowing the dulcinea tour i'm sorry 
And my speakers. Some clip speakers. I have shown these before on videos, but they sound wonderful. Always have candles going while I'm up here. A promotional Devo hat. Dome. Um, and this crate here is my Van Morrison crate. So this is all my Van Morrison stuff, uh, starting with them. And it's all chronological. It's original copy of Astro Weeks, the green label. Um, I mean, I lots of Van. <laughs> He's my favorite, so. Uh, you name it. Um, I'm missing, uh, once you get into the 90s, I'm missing, but uh, pretty much I have just about everything up until then. Um, this is the new reissue. I do not have an original of that. Philosopher's Stone. That's a bootleg. This country record, Pay the Devil. Astro Weeks Live. Duets. The Alternative Moon Dance. That was a uh, record store day a few years ago. But uh, yeah, Van Morrison. Love them. So, all right, and this is my rocking chair that I sit in. I'll, I center it in the middle of the room here, and uh, that's where I, between the two speakers, and that's where I uh, listen to my music. So uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, coming along, and... Uh, Hopefully I'm just going to keep tweaking this room as I, as I go and keep collecting, but, uh, it's my little happy, happy place right now. So, uh, thank you for coming along and, uh, cheers.